Welcome again to another wonderful time with God on Glorious Morning Shower. Believe the Lord is blessing you through this platform. The word for your shower today is our victory in Christ Jesus. Our victory in Christ Jesus. I know many of us, one way or the other, could be facing some challenges and trouble. Many of us are being pursued by some demonic forces from the kingdom of darkness. Many also may have been captured already. But the Lord said, I should tell you on glorious morning shower today, the victory is coming for you. And this victory is the victory that is brought by Jesus Christ alone, not the one that you fought with your muzzle. How do I know? Because this victory is a permanent victory. After the order of John chapter 8, verse 36, So if the Son of Man shall set you free, ye shall be free indeed. So I need the freedom that comes from the Son of God. Jesus Christ. He said, if he is the one that sets you free, you shall be free indeed. So the victory we are talking about in Christ is a permanent victory. Let me tell you this short story on Glorious Punish Hour this morning. A story I read in those days when I was in secondary school of a man from Edo State who got married to a lady and they were both living in Lagos or thereabouts. And one day the man returned from work. And the wife opened up. And she, he shouted, Who are you? He said, I'm your wife. He said, My wife? That's not possible. Who are you? What, what are you doing here? Who brought you here? Uh -huh. The woman started shouting, and the neighbors came in. And they say, ah, oh, that is your wife. You've been living with her here for some for, for some time. Why are you now saying, no, 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 I only know this woman in those days in my village. She was having mental problem and they took her out. No, 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 this woman is not normal. She's not. That was how the woman busted into tears and began to confess that yes, there was a ritual done for her to enable her married a man. And she has been sacrificing. But a year plus ago, he, she felt that their union has come to stay. So even if she does not do the sacrifice again, you know, there will be just to blindfold that man. And the man, the woman now cried that what he said is true, that he she was running a mental problem. But after they did the ritual for her, they did the ritual for her again to enable her marriage. And that is how she got married to that man, through diabolic means. You see, the marriage couldn't last till the end because what gave birth to that marriage is not God. So you young girls that move around with Kayamata, I don't know what they call it, to seduce men to them to marry you, it will last. The day it clears, the man will get back to himself and that will be the end. You see, your shame will be more. So it's better. You come on the platform of Jesus Christ. God, I need this. I need victory in this contract. I need victory in this case that I'm in with some people in court. I need victory on this genuinely and I believe God will answer it. That is why I say the victory brought by Jesus Christ is a permanent one after the order of that, that scripture. John chapter 8 verse 36. 
Again, this victory that is brought by Jesus Christ is not at your own power. Remember 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. He said he will keep the fact of his sins, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. For by strength. So if you are expecting God to give you victory, oh, you don't need to go do anything of your own again. You see, remember Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. He said, Not by mind, not by power, but by his spirit. So it's not by your muscle. Many of us, after we have prayed, that God should intervene, intervene on the case, we still go back there and begin to exchange all or targeting how we deal with you. Do you know where I am? How we finish you here? And you are exchanging those points. Now, what is God going to do again? And sometimes you feel, oh, see, some people will say, let's drop this Christianity for now. Let me show this person. Let him know that I will. So you expect now God to go with you. God does not need your effort. God wants to do it by himself so that his glory will not be shared with you. Another thing again is this victory is in the blood. I want you to know I met a man one time I was talking, I was privileged to be in their house there and the, boy, the, man, the man was talking to the man he said real sacrifice whether you are a christian or muslim you must sacrifice some blood must touch ground blood must touch ground either shaking cow or that is when you have done real sacrifice so i now got to know the place of blood life is in the blood and that is why revelation chapter 12 verse 11 says and they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Your own is to testify of the goodness of God. And when you beckon on Jesus by his blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, victory has been given to you already. That is why it's at the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every name shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Lord. So, I challenge you today, please come on point with us to enjoy the victory available in Christ Jesus. How do you access this victory? You must become a child of God. How again? You must sacrifice for the kingdom of God. How again? You must have a prayer lifestyle. How again? You must not miss the gathering of God's people. Don't take that for granted. These are the four channels that I think you can easily assess this victory. Becoming a child of God. It is... Have you ever seen dog fighting for good? When you temper with the child, the, 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 the puppy of a dog, you will see that dog in reaction. The same thing with temper with the, the, the baby of a goat, you see. So until you become the child of God, you cannot enjoy what children of God enjoy. So become a child of God so that you can enjoy it. John chapter 12 verse 24 says, Verily, verily, I said unto you, except a, a, a corn of wheat falls into the earth, it abided alone. So if you want to get victory, you must, you must swallow yourself. For the purpose of the kingdom a lifetime of prayer and let not neglect the time of fellowship the lord bless you so much on glorious morning shower it's a word for you today as you go victory that belongs to jesus will be your portion in jesus name